Yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. So today, I'm going to be telling you some of the easiest and best ways to improve your FPS and shell shockers, so that you can be ready to play the game in 2022. So, I'm sure you've heard of uncapping your FPS, and almost everybody now knows how to do it. But the major problem with that, is that your shots lag after you uncap. But I actually found a solution to that. So since most people use uh, the mouse to shoot when, uh, when playing the game, that is what makes it lag. So either you can use a controller, or you can change your keybind to something other than the mouse, and your shots won't lag as much. So right now I'm still using the mouse, but it's not lagging. And this is kind of circumstantial, but for most people it does lag with the mouse. So you can either change the keybind to something else, any other key on your keyboard, or you can use a controller. So I also know that most people don't use controllers and most people just prefer classic keyboard and mouse. And so you can change it to any other key. So if we just go to our keybinds right here, change it to let's say G, right? Or even, even like something, any other key. G could be a little uncomfortable, maybe F, whatever works right for you. Uh, and then you just hit confirm here, and that changes your keybind for you. The second uh, key point that I have here is to use the Brave browser. So until a couple of months ago, I used to have a really trash PC. And so speaking from personal experience, as soon as I switched to Brave browser for shell shoppers, I saw an improvement in my FPS. There was a drastic change between Chrome I even tried Opera, so there was a drastic change between Opera, Chrome, and Brave. Brave, Brave was just leading my FPS. So this is from personal experience, it's not just like some article that I got from Google or whatever. It's, I'm speaking from personal experience, because Brave is a better browser for gaming, and for shell shockers, it just seems trouble print. Another trick is to zoom in when you're playing the game. So what this does is it is it worsens your graphics quality in the game, but it actually improves your FPS. So let's say you're you're on you're like a Chromebook player on like 20 FPS, that can at least help you get up to 30, 35, 40. Obviously, you can't get like 200 FPS on a Chromebook, but let's say you're on a PC, you can uncap and zoom in. Like if you're fine with the bad graphics, you can zoom in and uncap. Right now, I'm on uh, the default uh, the default. Uh, the default magnification, but I've uncapped, um, and I, I don't even have like a too overkill of a GPU. Like I have a decent GPU, but I don't have anything overkill. Like I don't have a 3060 or anything, but I can still get some pretty good frames. And like Shell Shocker is pretty easy to run. Like it's a browser game, takes up to no resources. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you are going to download the Brave browser, I am not going to leave a link or anything like that for you because I suggest that you guys find your own links to download because I don't want anybody downloading something that I recommend. I just want people to download what they think is safe. Um, and so if you do download it, make sure you download like the legit version the official version and not some pirated thing that is out there and yeah if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below um one last thing before i end this is i was doing a survey of all the other uh videos and shell shockers that tell you how to uncap your fps or anything related to that and in the comments i observed that most people were having the problem with their shots lagging after they are capped. So changing your keybinds or using a controller is the best solution. And I have a friend um, who actually uses a controller and he's even tried changing his keybinds and it, it works perfectly for him. He doesn't have very good of a PC. Uh, he used to get 40 FPS but now he's on 100 frames easy. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you.